Here's the little mini hammock that I had made. I love it. It's so cute. I used little gold rings for the sides there. And the beads I just got from my local dollar store. I had got a great big huge pack for $5 last year and I've made many projects. But yes, I love it. It is so, so cute. I'm probably going to make more to have around. I might make one from the bathroom for my toilet paper. So there's that. Hello my fellow Yarnians. It is June 21st, 2020 and I have a finished object. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, I love this pattern so much. This is a mini hammock. Um, it's made by Days Crochet here on YouTube. She has a tutorial for it. Um, other than that, I'm pretty sure she has the pattern down in her description. But yes, I had so much fun making this. I uh, The beads here are... I went to my local dollar store. And these were... Dollar store. These were $4. But for this whole container, I got this last year. And I have used it for a few projects now. Actually, one's right here. The Anna... Uh, Karina Anna caplet. See, I'd put some beads on there and then on this one I went with um, actually this is out of cotton this is the Lamia baby cotton and I got this in a three pack from Amazon I think it was $13 for the three pack and each ball comes with 100 grams 200 meters 3.5 ounces 219 yards pretty sure this is a three weight um, no, it's a four. It's a four weight. So anyways, it took one, one full ball and a little bit for the tassels. So I'm going to make another one. I want to make one for in the bathroom. I'm probably going to hang another plant in there. And if not, you can put toilet paper in it or even have it here in the craft room. I did have some um, yarn in it. You could use it for so many things in the kitchen, for your vegetables or your fruits. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful beautiful pattern I really really like it um, she used um, uh, wooden hooks sorry wooden round hooks I used gold ones that I got from the dollar store they're just gold rings so yeah uh, I did that in an afternoon so it's so easy to make I really highly recommend it I'll put the tutorial link down below in the description box and over here is my popsicle shawl. I had shown this last time, um, the blueberry popsicle shawl. If you want to, uh, the link for that is in my last video. So you can go over there and get that. But yeah, again, I used, I think it's Shimmer Shawl. Shimmer Shawl? Yeah, Shimmer Shawl by Loops and Threads. And this colorway was called Pink and Black. I love it. I am going to make maybe a hat to go with it for winter time because I have all this yarn left over, all this gorgeous yarn. So, um, yeah, and if you want any of this yarn, it's at Michael's. I actually paid $7.99 for the whole cake because it was on sale. So and that was a while ago. I don't know if they're on sale now, but I did hear through the grapevine that there's another sale going on at Michael's. So get on over there. Sorry, I dropped my, my little booklet. <laughs> so get on over there and... Spend some money at Michael's. <laughs> Why not? Spend it on something else. Might as well spend it on yarn. That's my motto. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to talk about... I usually don't talk about my whips anymore, but... Oops. I'm going to. I started another winter wine sweater. This time using... Look at this color. This could be so... So anyways, here it is, so far, top down. I am using the Creative Grandma from Knit Crate, the one she uh, featured in, the Audine Wools. This is in the colorway Sky, and it's Audine Wools Shine Sport, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Tencel. Um, it's a sport weight. There's 350 yards in each ball. So I had ordered five balls of this all together. And also, I'm holding it with mohair. 
that I got from Hobie. Some Diablo. And it's really turning out beautifully. I am just loving it. Um, the mohair gives it that little halo that we all love. I don't know if you can see it. Fuzzy there. Yeah, you can see it. See it? Ooh, I am so excited about this. This is going to be so beautiful. So anyways, that's what I got on my needles. On my hooks, I do have another shawl on my hooks. I'm um, not going to show that because I just started it. Um, other than that, I have one more thing I want to show you. I have learned how to spin on my spinning wheel. Not showing you the yarn, but I am going to show you this. My husband made me a Nitty Naughty out of PVC pipe. I was looking online and on Amazon, the Nitty Naughties were like over $100. <laughs> what? No. So I went down to my local hardware store. I got this whole setup plus an 18 inch longer one if I need it. All for $6.85. The PVC pipe was on sale. I just got one long one. My husband cut all the pieces. And yeah, so I'm very excited about that. Beautiful. So I got my own Nitty Naughty now. For all the fiber I'm going to be spinning up on my wheel. I'm having a lot of fun with that too. So there. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And until next time, see you then. Bye guys.